If you're a lazy bastard like uh, me, and you have the uh, happenstance to end up in Singapore, like me, and then you just don't really want to do much, you know, like me, then you can just stay here at the ST Signature Co-Living Hotel, walk across the street here, and you thought that um, Singapore wasn't smoking friendly, right? You get fined in the street, $500 if you smoke. But this place, which has actually a world famous breakfast, um, also serves beer. This breakfast is somewhere here. It's famous for coffee as well, so you know, there's that. But, um, yeah, this, the toast, eggs, with coffee set meal, is super famous, self-serve. There's the inside, which is kind of really cool and nice, but I sat over here. And you can drink beer, smoke cigarettes, and watch all of these people take photos of themselves in front of this. And then check out the rest of Chinatown in Singapore. That's my day. Sometimes when I try to reason, you don't seem to listen at all. And I got to the hotel at 2 a.m. But they said that you can just check in anytime you want. Our doors are always open. It's a self check in place. You gotta check this out. It's so cool. YouTube. This is street view. So this is a camera in the street and these people are walking along the street. So that's my view. <laughs> is the is the TV. That's my window.
very cool um, and for the three nights it's two hundred and twenty dollars you got to remember that we're in Singapore and imagine if you're in Sydney and you want to stay in Chinatown in Sydney the hotel is going to be two hundred and seventy dollars a night at least there's a film shoot going on over here I think this is better you want to swap? <laughs> Sound guy. There it is. Over here. There's Helen over here. So these ladies are like the stars. They are preparing the shoot. So right opposite my hotel, I was looking for breakfast. That's a problem solved. Breakfast. But cash only, and I don't have any cash whatsoever. So, ATM. This is what I remember of Chinatown, Singapore. So good. Just, I mean, just all the chairs out the front, all the restaurants along the side. You know, it's just a great version of uh, Chinatown. Apparently there's an ATM inside the market that I just came through, which another person told me. I'm fairly used to Bali directions now, which means that they'll give you an answer, but they don't actually know. I don't know. Two confirmations of a sighting of an ATM. ATM spotted. Here's the thing though, I don't have any idea what Singapore dollars are worth although I did just see in that restaurant that a Chinese meal is nine dollars and I'm thinking that's maybe similar to Chinatown in Sydney which is about eight dollars fifty so I'll just go on the fact that it's about the same as the Australian dollar but <laughs> can't see how that would work but I don't research these things I got a uh, hundred hotel there 7-eleven here here in the fridge of the 7-Eleven in Singapore. When you are in Singapore for a couple of days, a uh, sandwich from 7-Eleven will suffice. Just notice this outside of my room. Free walking tours. They take you to Chinatown or India Town or something else. But then I realized it's the walking bit. They're open now. Um, you can sit there from 6.30 a.m. but they open at 7. So in the meantime I walked all the way down to the corner. We're here, this is the corner. So then I thought, well, as I'd already woken up at stupid o'clock, might even walk to the next corner. And I noticed this thing on the way, they've got vending machines, but look at this. It's a promotional thing, but two dollars for orange juice and it makes it from the fresh oranges and spits out the juice but it's a bit too hard so I didn't bother doing that but I was trolled up here because I heard a lot of things about Club Street this is Club Street <laughs> Had I been here last night, there would have been all sorts of goings on. But I couldn't really be bothered coming here last night. And then I saw this sign. So the Oxen Co. 
Top five roof bars in Singapore. Well worth the three flights of stairs. Of course, I haven't been up there because there's three flights of stairs. I can't afford to drink in Club Street anyway. It's $16 for a beer. Yeah, really. So that's the exercise sort of for the day. Pretty long walk. Swinging the arms a little bit. And then today, we'll just, let's just keep eating on the corner. This is next door to the hotel. They do Botox and stuff. So face, body, skin tightening, skin booster, black doll therapy. That could be good. Mole oil removal, hair growth for treatment, teeth whitening, Botox and filler. I don't do breast reductions, unfortunately. Oh well. There goes the door. Could be time for brekkie. I was wondering about that too. I haven't gotten around to tasting it. Breakfast is five dollars. Um, black tea, and then there's eggs and toast coming. Get a beeper. So it's two soft boiled eggs. I had them yesterday. And this is cheese and. Mm, cheese and jam. Very famous, apparently. Mm, okay, this is the way. So good. So just to elaborate a little on a really simple dish, but um, I think the reason it's so famous is that this is like a boiled egg out of the shell. So it's soft boiled egg. Um, tea is fantastic and the toast just melts like it's not hard at all. It's really, really super soft. And um, I'm dipping, but I don't know if everyone is, but they don't give you any utensils. This came from the tea. So I think that's probably the go. It's delish. Last night in this space here, this little marked off, um, they had a live band and dancing, but I could see it from the window, so I really couldn't be bothered. You know, coming all the way down. Of course, after that, I'm just literally come from the coffee shop there. Just go here, get yourself a massage. You know, short term health care. And it has, you know, just foot massage and neck and shoulder treatments, and yeah, it's awesome. I think, I don't know. I'm starting to think that. Singapore had the hang of this before I did. I mean, with their naming of the streets, we've got Temple Street here. Because it's got the temple. And over there was Club Street, because that's where the clubs are. And Eat Street, that's where you can eat. Huh. Smith Street. What are we going to call this one? I don't know. Smith or well, next one, John. I was going to look at the markets, but I can't be bothered opening yet. I was just going to try the money changer situation in Singapore, but they don't open until 11 o'clock. Just getting through a chicken and egg and soy bun. It's delicious. I'm not sure if I'll eat it all though. Can't really be bothered. The MRT in Singapore is amazing. You can go anywhere, it's super cheap. And um, I haven't done that because, you know. Bosque Street. So I was lazy. Okay. 
was supposed to be raining the whole time. It's raining now. <laughs> Everyone's standing around on the side, walk, waiting for us, waiting for it to stop. But um, actually, it's, I just met an Australian guy, and he said that it's, it's supposed to be raining for the next two hours. <laughs> They're all back down there on the sidewalk, but you just walk under these. Quite a few awnings. It's all good. One more floor. The root got terrace. Yeah. <sighs> One more floor. It's closed. And so there we were, right back at the start. You'll notice there's a taxi rank over there, so yeah, ST signature. I can't recommend it highly enough. Is that English? I can't recommend it highly enough. 7-Eleven um, there. Great Chinese food there. Top Street behind us. Better work for the traffic lights in uh, Singapore. But um, yeah, Singapore is incredibly expensive. Uh, from that point of view, there's no real reason to come here. See some architecture, big building that they built, swim in the pool, look over the city, go to the bars. I mean, if you're working here, it's great. But if you're not working here and you don't have any reason to come here, like I did, which is a visa run, then really, I don't see the point. I've been here before and my, my uh, friend, the travel agent said, what are you going to Singapore for? There's nothing there, just... just just only there for business, you don't go there for holidays. And of course he was right, but I did it because it was a close, like a quick flight from Bali. Um, and that suited me, although to be honest I got on the plane and I fell asleep. And I was woken up by somebody saying we were about to land in Singapore over the speakers. That's like a dream flight, isn't it? Just got myself nice and tired, got up early in the morning. So yeah, a little flight now back to Bali. It's Temple Street, of course. And a little queue here for the taxi. And then to the airport, nice and early. And then Hopefully fall asleep and wake up in Bali. That would be nice. Oh, terminal? Where's your terminal? Oh, I don't know. Hello, no? Uh, it's in a dash. going to Bali. This flying with Jetstar, but look, they cater to alcoholics. 